Hey, Ron here. So we're up to lab three. Lab two concern uh, configuring interface. Lab three is just uh, verifying uh, connectivity. So we've got the lab uh, environment in front of us that we used in lab two. Uh, we know that we have connectivity from router A to router B and from router B to router C. So what we're going to do is verify some of that connectivity via our host uh, connected to router C. Now I'll be following the Cisco prescribed method uh, for uh, testing connectivity. Uh, so let's jump right into it. We've got uh, 18 is our uh, our laptop, 17 is our interface on router C, uh, and then we'll try to verify basically this link right here. So from our laptop all the way through C up to router B. Now remember in uh, lab 2 we did not configure any static routes and we did not configure dynamic routing protocol. So I don't expect uh, I don't expect everything to work here, uh, but it'll give us a, a good uh, example of, of troubleshooting the network and identifying where the problem lies. All right. So the Cisco uh, method from a host, we're going to verify IP config uh, just so that I know. Yep, I am 18. Yep, I'm going to 17, which is my gateway, uh, which is router C, uh, and I have the correct subnet mask. So configuration-wise, on my host, I'm good to go. So starting with uh, the Cisco method, we ping our loop back address. So ping 192.1, correction, 127.0.0.1. This is the loop back address, and this verifies that our TCP IP protocol stack is functioning. It's installed and working. So we get replies, we know we're good there. So now if we ping our own IP, 192.168.0.18, we get replies. So this is verifying that our uh, network interface card, our NIC, is uh, functioning correctly. So we get replies. So now we've got to check our, our local uh, interface, our local gateway uh, out to the rest of the world. So we're going to ping 17 and this verifies that yes in fact the cable between my NIC and the router is functioning and that, that 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 gateway interface is functioning correctly so we've we've tested our TCP IP protocol stack by pinging the loopback we've uh, tested our NIC by pinging our own IP address and now we've we've checked the our cabling uh, between my NIC and the router is good to go as well alright so we should also be able to ping through a uh, router sees Ethernet interface and ping on on the uh, the other side the serial interface. All right. So we should what, what I'm talking about here is pinging through the Ethernet interface and pinging this serial interface here. All right. So if I hit an up arrow, change this to six, bam, good to go. So now we're pinging all the way up to the exit point on uh, router C. Now here's where I think we're going to have problems uh, because again going back to we don't have any static routing and we don't have any dynamic routing so router B although it's connected to router C it only knows about that connected subnetwork so it knows about network 4 however it doesn't know about network 16 right here it knows about network 4 but it doesn't know about 16 so although the packets will make it to router B, router B doesn't know how to send them back. And we'll verify that. So I'm going to bring up uh, bring up router B. We're in privilege exec mode now. I'm going to do a debug IP ICMP. All right. So ICMP packet debugging is on. So ICMP is an internet control message protocol. And that's, that's what... Uh, gets used when you do a ping command. All right, so let's go back to my computer, and we're going to try to ping the serial interface hanging off of router B. Notice here that it's not working. We're getting re request timed out. So if I go back to the router, I'm starting to get traffic. So I'm seeing these ICMP packets. Uh, so the uh, echo request is making it to router B, 
router B generates an echo reply. It's sending it uh, to destination.18, which is my laptop, with its own source address. The problem is, if you do a show IP route and you put that address in, it says subnet not in table. And that's because it, it doesn't have an entry for it. Nobody, the administrator, myself, didn't add a static entry. And none of the other routers shared with it via a dynamic routing protocol how to get to this network. So even though the packet got to it, it doesn't know where to send packets back to. So if we go back here, the last command that I, I, I want to cover is a trace uh, RT, trace route. Uh, we'll put a dash D so that it does not try to map the IP address to a DNS name, which takes forever considering I don't have DNS uh, set up right now. We'll do 192.168.0.5 uh, again. And we know, okay, we send it to our gateway address. And if we look over here, it's getting those packets again. But they're not coming back so in the ordinary case if if router B knew how to get back we would have an entry here that says router you know it'd be router B's interface uh, the 192.168.0.5 and it would be done but we're just going to continue to time out here because it doesn't know how to get there so I'll hit control C to kill it uh, and that's the end of lab 3 lab 3 was just so that you could understand the Cisco prescribed method for testing connectivity and that is to ping your loopback address to verify TCP IP protocol stack ping your local interface uh, IP so now we're we're verifying our NIC card ping your gateway so now we're verifying one our gateways up but mo you know just as important is that layer one connectivity between them the cable is good uh, and then we try to ping out on the rest of the network and this is this is where we ran into problems because on the rest of the network there's no routing protocols installed so we're we're gonna fail there so we've identified that yes connectivity is good uh, but the networks not gonna function because there are no routing protocols so we'll pick that up in another video uh, I hope you got something out of this again nothing intensely new here just just understanding the Cisco uh, prescribed method so thanks for watching uh, please feel free to leave comments suggestions tips I'm all about sharing knowledge so if there's something that uh, you would like to see in our latter video hit me up all right thanks man